Hi, and welcome to another edition of our clinical massage vlogging series. Well, spring has sprung, and this is the time of year that we start to get outside and get more active with such tasks as gardening and spring cleaning. It's also a great time of the year to talk about the quadratus lumborum, or QL. This is a four-sided muscle that spans the area that is bordered by the bottom of your rib cage, the 12th rib. Your lumbar vertebrae, the transverse processes of L1 through L4, and your pelvis, the crest of the ilium and iliolumbar ligament. The QL muscles are considered core stabilizers since they are very much involved in stabilizing your torso on your pelvis. One extremely common way to injure or trigger the QL muscle is improperly lifting a heavy object while unbalanced and twisting one's torso while doing so, as in lifting and moving a potted plant from one spot to another. The medical text that we use as our primary reference material, Travell and Simon's Myofascial Pain and Dysfunction, the Trigger Point Manual, have this to say about the activation of QL trigger points. And I quote, activation of trigger points in the muscle often involves simultaneously bending over and reaching to one side to pull or lift something, unquote. The QLs are subject to stress and overuse when the glutes are weakened with trigger points because when the glutes are dysfunctional and not performing to their fullest ability, the QLs are left to compensate. Crisis happens when the QLs are left to do double duty and succumb to trigger points, tipping them into dysfunction. It is about this time that the QLs seize up and leave you in a painful predicament. When the QL muscles become triggered, it is common for the trigger points to cause an immediate sharp stabbing pain in the low back specifically in the sacral area. Sometimes this pain can be so severe that the injured person cannot stand up straight and has to resort to crawling on his or her hands and knees until the initial pain crisis has been resolved. As Travell and Simons explain, those who suffer an acute severe onset of the QL myofascial pain syndrome often resort to crawling because, I quote, this posture requires no stabilization of the lumbar spine by the quadratus lumborum muscles. In other words, Moving around in this way takes the load off the QL muscles and allows them to opt out of participation." Unquote. Trigger points in the QL muscles can refer pain to the sacroiliac joint or SI joint, and the hip, the buttocks, the greater trochanter, the abdomen, even the groin. Things you can do to avoid overloading these muscles are to remember it's important to avoid lifting and twisting motion when working in the yard or the garden. You've heard it a million times, but it still stands true. Lift with your legs and not your back. And whenever possible, use a dolly or hand truck to transport large plants around the garden. Well, that about wraps it up for this edition. Check back weekly for more vlogs in the series. And don't forget to fan us on our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. Till next time, I'm Shane Epperly.